how to use a depth mic. Well, the first part I'm going to show you how to adjust and take apart the micrometer, explain what all the pieces of the micrometer do, and in the second part I'm going to show you how to read the micrometer. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we have today is we have a Michitoyo depth mic. It is a four inch base depth mic. You can get them in two inches and you can get something called, or we used to call it one arm bandit, where either you buy them with one arm or you would cut them off with one arm. It's to be able to get in closer to other objects. Um, what we have in this case is a zero to six inch set. So if we take a look, the rod in this one is a zero to one, then this rod here would be a uh, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and five to six. So you have your different various size rods. What we have on starting from this end here is we have our thimble ratchet. Makes a little, I call it a cowbell. We'll get into that down the road. We have our thimble top here. We have our thimble uh, scale here, and we have our sleeve, and we have our sleeve scale. And when we flip this guy over, this here's a lock, and this here is a calibration wrench hole. Okay, let's take it apart now. So this is a zero to one. in top there are other designs where this piece stays on and you just pull the shaft out and put another shaft in a measuring rod I shouldn't say shaft measuring rod and a note um, this style here is preferred we'll say okay you must ensure that this area is super clean and this area here is super clean before you use a depth mic it doesn't matter which rod is in if you want an accurate measurement, you're going to need to calibrate or check your uh, your size every single time. So we're a little above. You see here how this guy goes. And this is a reverse, like on a depth mic, you would normally go down and this size here would be the smallest size. And as you progressed, it would be larger. In this case, it's backwards. And we're going to get to how to measure it in the second part of this video. So let's take a look here. I'm going to just slide this guy over top. You don't need a gauge block, but I just so happen to have one. I'll even go on its side so it's easier to hold on to. And then using the feel, the same feel you're going to use when you're actually doing your piece is how you're gonna check and set your rods. So if we take a look, that's pretty good. Right spot on zero. But you would do that with every single rod that you interchange and that's your basic function of a of a depth mic we will get into the next part of the video which is coming up right after this on how to actually check and measure every advance of a thimble it advances 25 thou okay so we have four lines here this is zero this is 25 this is 50, this is 75, this is 100, thus represented by the whole number here. Then this would here would be 125, 150, 175, 200. We're good? Okay, so let's pretend that our thimble is sitting at 10. The number 10 on the thimble is lined up perfectly with this line. And we're going to say that we are right about here. Oopsie, right about here. Okay, so instead of going 25, 50, 75, what we're going to say is we're 600 because we're beyond this line here. So we're going to say 600,000, which is 0 0.600. Then we're going to say this number here is going to be 25. This number here is going to be 50. 0 0.050 plus our 10, 0 0.010. 0, 6, 6, 
point. So zero, 660 thou, if this was to this point here. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So we're gonna go here, just randomly pick one. Okay, let's try this problem. Okay, so we're not quite at the 400. We're beyond the 300. So we take a look at this guy. This guy here would be the 50 mark. This guy here would be the 25 mark. Okay. So we're going to agree that we're at 300 just for now. So we'll go 0 0.300. Now, we're not at the 50 mark. Are we at the 20, at 25 mark plus the 23? If we were at the 23 mark, we'd be very, very close to the 50 mark because that would be representing 48 thou. 25 plus 23 would be representing 48 thou. But we're not there because you can see that line. So we are at the 23 thou mark. So this depth here is 0.323. Okay? Let's try another one. Let's take a look at this problem. We are not at the 300 mark yet. So we must be at the 200 mark. Okay. So each one of these lines represents 25 thou. So if this is the 100 mark, this will be the 75 mark, this will be the 50 mark. And we're at zero and the zero lines up, so we're at the 50 mark. So 0.250 oh, would be the total. Okay, let's try this problem out now. We're not quite at the 200 mark. We're beyond the 100 mark, so we can write that down, 0.100. Oh, Each one of these lines represents 25, so this here is the 100. This is the 75, this is the 50. Well, we're not quite at the 50 mark yet. So we can say we're at the 25 mark, so we can go 0 0.025. Then we have to add the 20 into it, so 0 0.020. Therefore, 145. Okay, here's another problem. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Are we at the 800? That's the question. Well, we can see this line clearly here. We're not quite there if we can clearly see the line because this zero here should be lined up over there. So we're less than 800. So we're going to say 700. Okay. Well, less than 800. And we're almost at 800. So you got to have three lines buried underneath here. So 0.075. Oopsie, 75 plus 23, 0.023, therefore, 5 and 3 is 8, 7 and 2 is 9, 7, so we're only 2 thou away. Okay, I hope that this kind of got the ball rolling. Most of you guys, I understand, know how to do this already. This is a good little refresher. Okay, there is a formula sheet or a question sheet attached inside of here. If you could go and download it and complete it, give you more practice. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the description, there's a downloadable link for a worksheet. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you got some value out of it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.